Hello, you beautiful nerds. World of Warcraft just released a trailer. Okay, well, six hours ago for The War Within, uh, the official trailer called Shadow in Fury. And I have not seen it yet, but I've actually heard really good things. And one of my favorite things to do is react to new cinematics and stuff that come out of World of Warcraft. So that's what we're going to do. Let's check it out. I hear it's real good. I'm excited to see. Anything with Zalatath is going to be real good. For so long, I've watched you all. Your mortal struggles. Your proud defiance. The loneliness you pretend not to feel. You cling to hollow oh. faith that can't sustain you. You revel in power that cannot withstand what is to come. Dude. You convince yourselves that you are of purpose. That your great deeds can make a difference. But deep down, you know the truth. That when all your illusions are burned away, all that is left is your fury. What? And in the end, your glorious fury will be mine. Oh my god, that smirk out of her, dude. Oh, that was dope. Okay, so no, thanks. So they hang on. So like first of all, Zalatas voice voice actor uh, so good. She's I cannot wait to spend an expansion, hopefully just hopefully the entire expansion and beyond uh getting to know Zalatath on a like a but you know, I really want to I want to know her more. Uh she well, yeah, who doesn't? She She's so dope, and that smirk that she gives. Will be mine. Oh, oh yeah. I love the like moon motifs too. Like Zalatath is actually a loon. Just kidding. But that would be dope. But also weird. Wouldn't make any sense. But it'd be cool. Her, our fury will be hers. Will be mine. Who would she want us to fight? Like, why would she want our fury? Our fury would cause us to open the void's way or because she thinks that we would actually be the best people to fight the Titans. Because that's what I think. I think she that's her whole plan is to get us to fight the Titans. She has she has the um and in the end, she has the item there. Your glorious fury will be mine. Hers. So she doesn't say ours, which a lot of void stuff does refer to ours. She doesn't say that. She says mine. I feel like that's a really cool distinction from Zalatath to void. Because anytime, a lot of times, whenever you hear Yog Saron or any any of the old gods, void entities, whatever talk, it's we, uh, us. Uh, you know, it's like a legion thing. I don't mean burning legion. I mean like, like a you know, the brood is we will do this. But I really love this part too, and I'm wondering if this is like, is this just what they want, or is this going to happen? Like, is this going to happen before midnight, or you know what I mean? Because. What is that? Is it Azeroth hatching? That's kind of what it looks like to me. Like it could easily be destruction, but it could also be it's hatching. It could also just be a cool motif that they're doing, but the the light is actually showing like different land masses. It started on different land masses. 
Oh man, I'm so curious. And I I'm a little a little worried about what they're doing with um I mean this trailer is beautiful, by the way. Story-wise, I'm a little worried about what they're doing with Thrall. Illusions are burned away. Like he can use the elements. His it's just not what it used to be. His connection to them isn't as good as it used to be, but he still can do it, right? Because like I feel like we already did that story in Shadowlands. So hopefully, hopefully he's still he can do it. Magni, the part that I love here is Magni, um But deep down Magni crumbling a little bit. Deeds can make a difference. Where is it? Yeah, I mean it's just the what is to come. Jaina getting ready. Also, can we talk about that transition is dope? You cling to hollow faith. But Anduin in Silithus, he looks so good in the. I can't sustain you. I just I wish that his in-game model looked as good. Like that beard looks so good. Like he looks great. You revel in power that cannot withstand what is to come. You convince yourselves that you are of purpose. Your mortal struggles. I wasn't sure if there was anything like in the constellation. Your Interesting that the constellations defiance. are what are being used to do stuff. Loneliness. When I feel like a lot of the times that we saw the Titans originally was was in like constellation stuff, or at least that's how they were depicted. So interesting that you pretend this is using that as well. Super, I, this is like this whole, that's awesome. Then it's in the, ah oh man, it's in the heart of darkness. Dude, I cannot, I, I'm very excited to see what they end up doing with the story for War Within. Beta, by the way, comes out in just a couple of days. If you pre-ordered, uh, if you pre-order the Epic Edition, you get guaranteed access to the beta. So if you haven't done that yet, uh, check it out. The I've been able to play the alpha and I've liked what I've seen. I'm trying to do a nice mix of playing a little bit, but not too much where I still want to be surprised by stuff when I'm playing, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, check out the beta. It's coming if you have the Epic Edition. Let me know your thoughts on the trailer, because uh, I gotta be honest with you, this trailer hyped me up a lot more for War Within than I was feeling until right before watching it. I'll tell you that. Looks so good, looks so good. Thanks for watching, never give up, never surrender. Bye nerds.